The Royal Family of Japan Everyone's obsessed with the British Royal Family right now. But I gotta tell you that the Japanese Royal Family is just as rich and romantic. You know everything about Buckingham Palace, but you probably know nothing about the luxury lifestyle and interesting culture of the Japanese Royal Family. So, welcome back to Best Royal Affairs. Before we start, let me ask, do you know something about the Japanese Royal Family? Let us know in the comments. The Land of the Rising Sun has emerged as one of the new world superpowers after putting up significant effort for around 40 to 50 years. And Japan also has a royal culture that has been maintained by the current imperial dynasty, together with cutting-edge modern technology. All these wouldn't have been possible without the royal family of Japan. Isn't it fascinating? A combination of heritage and technology. But there is a lot more to learn about the royal family in Japan that is currently overshadowed by the dynamic technology of Japan. That's why we brought this video for you. Stay tuned until the end to witness a majestic journey. The main characteristics of Japanese culture are complexity and contrast. Despite having a rich and lengthy cultural history, Japan has emerged since 1950 as one of the most economically and technologically developed nations in the world. Japan is one of the most literate nations in the world and places a strong focus on education. Who don't know the big Japanese multinationals like Toyota, Nikon, Toshiba, Makita, Honda, Nintendo, Sony? Well, let me say we all know how good Japan's economy and technology is. The first hereditary monarchy in history was the Japanese imperial dynasty. Yes, you heard that right, the first. Even though the family's genealogy extends back to the 6th century BC, monarchs began using the title Tenno Emperor, or Sumera Mikoto, Heavenly Sovereign, in the 6th or 7th century. And Kiku, or Chrysanthemum, serves as the family crest. Emperor Jimmu, who is believed to have been in power in 660 BC, is the first of the 126 kings and queens recognized by the imperial house. Jimmu is a fictitious character, as is the conventional account of Japan's founding. There is insufficient historical proof for the first 25 emperors, but there is enough proof for an uninterrupted hereditary dynasty dating back to the early 6th century. The importance of the emperor's position has varied. He was designated the symbol of the state in the post-war constitution, despite being revered as a divine being up until the end of World War II. The emperor. He mostly served in ceremonial functions in the country's life. Other imperial family members participate in ceremonial and social obligations, but are not involved in governing. Their male offspring inherit the responsibilities of being an emperor. Known for upholding tradition, the oldest hereditary monarchy in existence today is the Japanese imperial house. And the emperor Naruhito is currently in power. The eldest child of the former emperor, Akihito, and his wife, the former empress, Michiko, is the reigning Japanese emperor, currently known as Naruhito. Have you ever heard of these names? He assumed his official role as the head of the Japanese imperial dynasty in 2019, as seen here at the beginning of a session of the country's parliament in 2020. The consort of Emperor Naruhito is Masako Owada, the Japanese Empress, Hiroshi Owada, and Yumiko Igashira's eldest daughter who is also a senior diplomat. She was born in Tokyo, but her family relocated to the US when she was a teenager. She consequently attended Harvard University where she majored in economics. Masako became just the second commoner to marry the heir apparent, when the couple got married in June 1993, according to Japanese history. The 126th emperor to sit on the chrysanthemum throne was Naruhito's father, the then emperor Akihito, who decided to step down in 2019. He and Masako were formally installed in office in October 2019 in Tokyo, and Princess Aiko is the only child that the emperor and the empress have together. The royal goes by two names, Aiko for personal use and Toshi for formal purposes. She is frequently referred to as both Princess Aiko and Princess Toshi because of this. She is currently pursuing a dual degree at Gakushuin University in Japanese Language and Literature in 2022. Like we said before, Japan has a strong focus on education. What do you think about that? The princess reportedly experienced bullying at school when she was trying to study because of her poor upbringing. She is known as the world's loneliest princess because of the isolation she currently experiences from people her age. How sad is that? Because women are only allowed to marry nobility, the princess must now navigate stringent norms when looking for a husband. But since there aren't any more in Japan, Aiko is put in a very challenging situation. The princess must choose between becoming a chaste shrine maiden, which entails several purity and chastity rites, as well as many physical and mental training exercises, and marrying a commoner. Let's see where this royal family lives. In the imperial palace, they spend their daily life. 
The royal home is situated on what is best characterized as a sizable park-like property that was once Edo Castle's estate. Not only is it located in the heart of Tokyo, but it also has characteristics of a traditional fortress, such as moats and high stone walls. The Kaiden Main Palace, which houses the Imperial General Headquarters Liaison Conference, was one of the primary structures on the palace grounds that suffered significant damage in the May 1945 fire. Several contemporary buildings that are connected make up the palace of today. It's one of the most expensive palaces in the world. The palace complex, which had two levels above ground and one below, was built using domestically produced steel-framed reinforced concrete constructions when it was completed in 1968. The Takenaka Corporation built the Imperial Palace's structures in a modernist style with obvious nods to Japanese design, such as the massive, gabled, hipped roof, columns and beams. Well, let me say, the royal family lives a very luxurious lifestyle within this beautiful palace. Let us give you all a glimpse of their more personal lives. There is a custom they follow regarding their marriages that you definitely want to know more about. The oldest custom of legal unions within the imperial dynasty involved unions between members of the dynasty, even half-siblings or uncles and nieces. Such unions were thought to better maintain the imperial blood, or they hoped to give birth to offspring that would represent a reconciliation of two lines of the imperial dynasty. Can you imagine marrying your cousin up until Emperor Shmu elevated his Fujiwara consort Empress A to chief wife? Daughters of other families continued to serve as concubines, this was specifically described as the first elevation of its kind. Throughout Japanese history, the emperor's or empress's influence and power have increased and decreased. But by the late 19th century, the emperor had begun to be regarded as the scion of an uninterrupted line of kings dating back to the 5th century BCE. In the end, according to national mythology, the imperial dynasty was divine since it was descended from the Shinto deities. The Meiji period saw a deepening of this rhetoric as the emperor was revered as a spiritual and political figure who had ushered Japan into the modern era. Since the 1946 constitution, it has served as a symbol, yet a contemporary constitutional monarchy served as the foundation for modern Japan. Despite the long history of the imperial line, the emperor rose to prominence in 1868 as the head of the brand new modern polity. The constitution the parliament, the bureaucracy, etc., were all created around the emperor, as were all of Japan's contemporary institutions. All sovereignty fell under the emperor's control under the Meiji Constitution of 1889. After 1945, however, a significant transformation occurred. The emperor is not even the formal head of state, in contrast to many constitutional monarchies. In most constitutional monarchies, the king has formal executive power, but is typically expected to follow cabinet advice or to use ministers to carry out his duties. In contrast, Article 65 of the Japanese constitution expressly grants the cabinet, of which the prime minister is the head, executive power. Additionally, the Japan self-defense forces are not under the direction of the emperor. This responsibility is specifically assigned to the prime minister by the Japan Self-Defense Forces Act of 1954. Only significant ceremonial activities are within the emperor's purview. The emperor must only conduct such acts in affairs of state as are stipulated for the constitution and he shall not have powers linked to the government, according to Article 4 of the constitution. By the supreme rule, the emperor is also forbidden from making political statements. This prohibition is said to be one of the causes for the agency's resistance to changing its position on information transmission. But how does it go these days? Furthermore, the year 2023 could mark a turning point for the Japanese imperial family, which has long shunned social media and been reticent to share details about the daily lives of its members. This is because the Family's Affairs Office plans to investigate the use of social media platforms as part of a new strategy for public relations. This method stands in stark contrast to the large online presence of European royal families, such as the British royal family, which in addition to having websites, also has accounts on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, each of which has more than a million followers. Which royalty do you follow on these social media networks? Images of members of the royal family visiting or interacting with people are posted to all accounts virtually daily. The Imperial Household Agency announced in late December that it would establish a formal public relations office in April following the Japanese cabinet's approval of its budget request to hire more staff. Experts concur that the agency has long overdue to overhaul its communications style, including increasing exposure for the family. Yes, hello, it's 2023. The agency currently only has one website that serves as its primary point of contact with the general public. This website publishes information about the public appearances of members of the imperial family. 
such as Emperor Naruhito and Empress Masako, along with pictures and statements related to those appearances. Let's say people love their privacy. The family and the agency must begin repeating important points so that more people will be able to grasp what they are trying to convey, a practice that has become more widespread with the growth of social media. So it seems now you can DM the Japanese royals. Are you going to do that? But before that, tell us what you think about the royal family of Japan. Put your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to press that bell icon to ensure that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next one. Until then, peace.